Hey, what's up, guys? Eyes open in California here. So a few days ago, I was watching YouTube videos, and a video populated on my feed. And the video pertained to how to make homemade tonic water, which one would take if they were feeling ill. And I thought to myself, this would be a good, a good video to watch. I could learn something, right? So I watched the video, and I thought to myself, I'm going to make this one day and see how it is, see how it goes. Well, two nights later, the Holy Spirit showed me something. And in my dream, I was shown step by step how to do this. And then I was also shown a missing ingredient that people are not putting into their tonic water. So I, I woke up and I went to the store and I bought some items and then I started doing what I saw in my dream. So anyways, here is the recipe. I'm going to share my screen. So here is the recipe that I am titling tonic water recipe from God. So in the video that I watched, there was only two ingredients. And those two ingredients were two grapefruits and three lemons. These were the only two ingredients that were in that video, right? Well, Two nights after I watched that video, God showed me something, that we need to add a third ingredient. That third ingredient are two carrots. These carrots help the body absorb iron. That's what I was told in this dream, that carrots help the body absorb iron. So I woke up and I went on the phone at like four something in the morning and I Googled what carrots are good for. And carrots actually are high in beta carotene and in vitamin A. And both of those help the body to absorb iron. So when I woke up later on in the morning, I went to the store and I bought some items and I decided I'm going to make this right now. So this is how you make the tonic water recipe from God. You're going to need two grapefruits, three lemons, and two carrots. Now, before I tell you how to do it, I'm gonna tell you the usage. Take one tablespoon every 12 hours. Do not exceed this amount. And I have it written here three times for a reason, because nothing is good if you don't moderate the amount. If you're very sick and you drink a whole bottle of this, it's not gonna do you any good. It's likely gonna do you some harm. Just like with any medicine, if you turned up a whole bottle of NyQuil, you're going to destroy your kidneys and your liver, right? So anyways, here's how you make this. Directions. Step number one, peel the grapefruits and lemons and throw the peels into a large pot. Step two, put four cups of water into a blender and blend the carrots along with the fruit from the grapefruits and the lemons. Step three, add the blended mixture into the large pot which contains the peels. Step four, bring to a boil. Step five, reduce the heat, cover, and bring the pot to a low simmer for three hours. Step six, let the pot set for 30 to 60 minutes to cool before the next step. And of course, the three hours has elapsed, so you would turn off the heat, right? So turn off the heat and let the pot set for 30 to 60 minutes to cool before the next step. Step number seven, strain the contents a few times with whatever you have to work with. You got strainers or colanders, whatever it is that you're gonna use, just strain it a few times to get all the lumps out. And finally, step number eight, pour the liquid into a glass bottle. This is your tonic water. It will keep for two weeks in the refrigerator. And this is how you make it. So I'm gonna leave it like this so you can screenshot the screen if you want to. All right, you got it? Okay. So I've actually made this twice. Two days ago, I made the first batch and I tried to mimic exactly what I was shown in my dream. And then today I did it a different way. So, we have a sister in Christ out there named Elaine. 
And Elaine sent me a message and asked, hey, you know, she saw the videos or saw the video, the previous video. And she said, you know, to save time, couldn't we just blend the grapefruits and the lemons, you know, just slice them up and just throw them in a blender instead of peeling them first? And I thought, you know what, that's a, that's a good question. So I didn't know the answer to that. So today I made the second batch and I did exactly that. So this recipe here calls for peeling the citrus fruits first and boiling, boiling that slurry of the fruit blended up with water with the whole peels. That's what this recipe calls for, right? With also the carrots. But um, the peels remained whole in this recipe. And that's the way I saw it in my dream. So then one would think, well, if it's going to boil for three hours and turn into mush, couldn't we just boil everything at once and not have to peel the fruit? And it's a very valid question. It was a good question. So thank you, sister. So today I actually did exactly this. I made the second batch and I have them right here in my hand. So I'm going to tell you the difference between them. So let me stop sharing my screen now. Okay. So this is the batch that I made and I just put it in these jars here. So this is the batch that I made two days ago. And I made this batch by peeling the fruit first and throwing the whole peels in the pot. And then I made this batch today by blending the peels along with the fruit. So here's the difference. I used the exact same ingredients both times. Same size grapefruit, same size lemons, same size carrots, four cups of water, um, except this one had whole peels, and this one had blended peels. So here's the difference. The recipe or the, the way I made it with the whole peels, it came out watery. You see that? If I shake it, let me close that lid. If I shake it, it's like liquid, right? And those four cups of water mixed with all those ingredients actually yielded, this is an 18 ounce bottle. Um, it actually yielded about 19 ounces of the tonic water, right? And when I made it today by blending all of the ingredients first and then boiling, boiling them, it came out very syrupy. You see that? Look at the difference. This one here, it's like honey, or it's like, it's like syrup. It's like NyQuil. You see how thick that is? And this one only yielded this much, what you see here. So this is an 18 ounce bottle. So I would say this is probably 15 ounces. So blending all of the ingredients together and then making it yielded four ounces less. And it's very thick, but a strange thing happened. I'm just going to keep shaking them, right? Just so you can see the difference in the thickness, right? So this one's very thick. And this was the one from two days ago. This is the one where I followed pretty much as close as I could to what I seen in my dream. But something happened today. When I recorded the process that I used today to make the second batch, and when I was all done, I tried to transfer over that video footage from my iPhone into the laptop, and it wouldn't do it. It just wouldn't do it. And this is exactly what I did two days ago, and it transferred over just fine. Nothing, nothing I could do could get the video footage of making this second batch, this thicker batch. Nothing I could do could get that footage transferred over to my laptop so I could put it into the video editor, right? I tried everything. And then my wife sat down right here at the helm of this computer workstation, and she tried it with her phone, and she could transfer her videos over no problem. And then we plugged my phone back in and they just wouldn't, they would not communicate no matter what we did. So to be quite honest with you, this has happened a few times, you know, in the last couple of years. And the one thing that I do know is this, when God doesn't want something to happen, it's just not going to happen. So I'm going to be honest with you. Um, 
this thinner, more watery tonic water, I believe is the one that God wants us to use. And this thicker one that actually saved time, it was easier to prepare, to be honest with you, it saved probably 10 or 15 minutes. But um, it came out very thick. And the video footage of making this one would absolutely not transfer over to this laptop. I believe God is saying, don't do it this way, do it this way. And it takes 15 extra minutes to prepare, but it's, it's considerably thinner. So anyways, that's what I found. So one more time, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to get my face out of the way. I'm going to let you take a screenshot of this recipe. God showed me this in a dream. So everybody out there right now is making this tonic water with only two grapefruits and three lemons. And they're not adding the two carrots. And I wouldn't know anything about this had the Holy Spirit not shown me. So all glory to God. This is the tonic water recipe from God. So when you're feeling sick, make this and reach for this. It's supposed to be good for colds, flus, viruses. They say it's good for inflammation. And I even watched the video where they said it was good for cancer. So this is the recipe from God. So I hope this helps. And I really hope that you make yourself a bottle of this. Like I said, the four cups of water, the two grapefruits, the three lemons, the two carrots, all, and after all the processing and everything, it yielded about 19 ounces. And this is an 18 ounce bottle. So this left me with like two tablespoons extra or something of that nature. I don't even know how much a tablespoon weighs. But anyways, that's what it left me with. It left me with this jar full all the way to the very top and two extra tablespoons. So if you want to get an idea of how much it yields, it yields about 19 ounces of liquid. So that's how big your jar needs to be. A 20 ounce jar would be sufficient. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you actually want to see me preparing this tonic water, then I'm going to put a link to a video in the description box. And then you can watch me make it. So this is Eyes Open in California. Thank you. God bless you. All glory to God.